This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Let's talk a little bit more about those controversial Cynthia Chase comments and those controversial Ron Paul comments. Now, Chase, as you may recall, is the New Hampshire legislator who recommended restricting people's freedoms. Ron Paul, for his part, is generating heat for his comments that suggested uh, an army, a slain army sniper, or a slain military sniper, uh, was, uh, you know, live by the sword, de uh, die by the sword. Uh, that his situation was live by the sword, die by the sword. And at the same time, uh, there's been a, just a little bit of controversy about a state rep who allegedly made some comments that were sort of uh, sinophobic. Now, I don't think they were really sinophobic, but what he did was he, he, he said two words in a sentence that ended with E, like uh, sticky, picky, you know, <laughs> we're going to eat some sticky, and we're going to be on the takey, you know, or something like that. You know, it wasn't, that, that wasn't what he said, but it was just like he added the, 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 the vowel or the sound e to the end of whatever he was saying, just like like a, like a Chinese person the stereotype would say, right? So somebody was upset about this. It seems like everybody actually is upset about everything except for stuff that counts. Words don't count. Only actions count. Now, I agree. If you're if you're saying words that are ordering someone to do something, then yes, that's that sort of action, but I will never understand why American society is so focused on words. Uh, let me check this again. More movement there. As opposed to deeds. The words they seem to get most upset about are words that are true, or words that at least aren't false. Right? Adding the, the sound e to the end of a couple words isn't lying. It's not defrauding. It's not threatening, <laughs> right? Right. It could be interpreted as making fun of Chinese people, maybe. People who, in my experience, tend to be pretty confident and aren't too worried about something like that. They do, after all, have an ethnic link to the world's natural superpower. Inferiority complexes just don't seem to be the thing for them. Uh, I don't care for anything right now. Huh? Ron Paul's comments about the slain sniper, while there might be maybe better people to direct them against, I don't think they could be considered false. They're probably pretty true. And people are upset about it. And, but, but, you know, the thing is, that's not going to be bad for Ron Paul. It's just going to draw more attention to him when he's really got nothing to lose. He has no political office to lose. I would be a little more concerned about the actions of this dead sniper. Um, I don't know that he did anything wrong necessarily while he was in Afghanistan, Iraq, so forth, wherever he was. Maybe all his kills were completely clean. Maybe even if they weren't, he made a good effort at avoiding civilian casualties. He probably is not the worst of them out there in the, in the military but I would tend to have, just off the cuff, a lot more questions about this sniper than I would about Ron Paul's comments. Again, because the sniper took action, and Ron Paul just talked. Ron Paul has taken some actions in the form of, um, you know, bills that he submitted, laws he wants to see enacted. Some of these would involve taxpayer expense, and that, I think, is what to criticize about Ron Paul not his speech. Of course, criticizing is speech. So I guess that's kind of okay too. It's just, I just don't see it as a priority. It's not necessarily the most useful thing to worry about. It's what other people are saying. Speech is just better used against action than it is against other speech. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone, plus get this, 
blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info It's a great place for Bitcoins to go.